What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario 3D World. We are now about to head over to World 7, and I can't help but wonder what type of world this is, because I'm honestly not 100% sure the theme of the next world, because it's been a while since I was last here. So let's, let's just go through here and... Do you guys see that? Wait, did you see that? Did you see that? Um, it looked like a golden Bowser train. I mean, forget about what's going on now. We've seen a we've seen a, a circus, an entire like circus on an island descend from the clouds before. But I was wondering what that what that golden Bowser train was all about. You see that? I wonder if we're gonna go there anytime soon. That's actually interesting. Is that a secret level? I don't know much about the secrets in this game. Now that I think about it, though. I didn't finish World 6 in the last episode, because I still have this level, Oh man. Well, there goes the whole completing, completing, uh, worlds in two levels, or by two, not a, excuse me. There goes the whole completing worlds by two episodes thing, because that, that failed. This is still World 6, I was pretty sure that we were going to go on to World 7 already. Let's just get rid of this guy quickly. I doubt that, as as is per usual with the Mario bosses, I doubt that this guy is any, like, I doubt he's difficult at all. What in the world? He reminds me of that one boss from, uh, okay, now he doesn't anymore. But while he was collecting all of those bubbles, didn't he remind you guys of that one boss from The Legend of Zelda? That guy in the water temple? You guys, you guys remember what I'm talking about, right? Or not. Oh! Oh man, even though I have a double cherry, it doesn't really help that both of the Marios are mini Marios and that one single touch from an enemy will kill me, please! Let's just be careful about this now. Don't touch the- Ooh! Nice. I don't even know- I don't- I don't know who this guy- I don't know who this guy is. Who does he think he is? Whoop! Oh no, there goes one of the Marios. Just keep long jumping! I love the long jump feature. I think that was first introduced in Super Mario 64. And since then, everyone has loved Mario games just a little bit more, don't you guys think? Okay, it's a bit of a stretch to say that people love Mario games because of the long jump feature. That's a little silly to say. Aw oh, man, look at all these coins! Woo! Man, we are at 68 lives. We are just killing this game right now. Forget the fact that in the last episode I was dying quite a bit. That doesn't really matter because we've got 68 lives. That's something else. Oh man, it really hasn't been that long since we had to climb up one of these type of flagpoles. You know, the ones that have these blocks that you climb up on and then normally there's like a pixie, you know, next to the flagpole, but there's no pixie this time and this is me speaking nonsense right now. But it's okay because we just course cleared this level. <laughs> Alright, now we are officially headed to World 7. Now, aren't you guys excited? I am pretty excited because, as I've been saying, you know, we've just been blazing through this game. I can't believe that we are really nearing the end of this episode. Not episode, the end of this series, because... If, if we continue this trend of completing worlds in two levels alone, then there's only around, I think, four? Four episodes left? Because there's this world and then the eighth world, right? So that's four episodes. Unless, of course, I go ahead and end up doing that special world. Now, as I said before, I'm not entirely sure whether or not I'm going to do that yet. One, because I don't know if that involves collecting all of the green stars quite yet, or maybe just a certain amount of green stars. Even though we haven't collected all of them, as you know, we've, we've been doing a decent job at collecting them still, so we've still got a good amount of green stars. Uh, so that really depends on the requirement to access the the special level is or the special world is I'm not making any promises though So although if you guys would like to see it go ahead and leave it in the comments below I have a feeling that most of you guys would want to see the special level right if I were watching a let's play of Super Mario 3d world myself right now then I would oh, What? <laughs> I'd want to see a special level too. That was weird. I ground pounded the fire. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> Take a look at that. The fire bro and the Goombas are working together. That's that's cute. What are you guys trying to do? Trying to defeat me? You guys can't defeat me. I'm Super Mario. You know the one with the blue overalls, the red hat, the one of legend, the one <laughs> who had a live action movie based off of him. 
in his game series. The one that has been releasing a bunch of games. Nintendo has been releasing a bunch of Mario games and some of them really feel the same as the last one. Like, uh, I've said this before, but New Super Mario Bros. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean, right? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> that's, a, that's a jerk move. That, did you see that? That fire bro was just waiting for me to come out of the... Come out of the... Of the pipe. And then he just went ahead and hit me like that. What, this is a jerk move. What a jerk. Aw, oh, man. I missed the second green star. <laughs> I have been saying that so many times in these last few levels. I'm just, like, chugging through the level, right? Just, you know, trying to complete it as most people would do in a Mario game. And then I'd say, aw, oh, man. And for some reason, it's, it's, it's usually the second green star that I miss. It's kind of weird. Oh, whoops. Oh, well. It's not like I miss anything there because I already did collect the stamp. I did collect the last green star already. And now we've got the golden flagpole. That was a little bit scary. I was afraid that... Knowing my luck. You guys know my luck with Mario games now, right? I was afraid that after jumping, I was just going to run myself into the fire bro. And as you guys know, that's not how you destroy fire bros. You gotta jump on their heads. Even though they're wearing helmets now that I think about it. Look at that fire bro. He's got a helmet on. You'd think that it would be enough to protect him from, from me jumping on his head. That's kind of weird. That that must... <laughs> and think about it, because I killed him as Mini Mario too. Imagine how heavy, not just Mini Mario, but imagine how heavy Super Mario is. If I can kill a fire bro with a helmet on, mind you, just by jumping on him. Switch Black Ruins. What's the catch to this level? Ooh, it's a top-down level. Doesn't this make you feel like you're playing The Legend of Zelda right now? Not really. Yeah, because it doesn't really make me feel like I'm playing The Legend of Zelda either. Speaking of top-down Zeldas, the last Zelda game that I purchased was, as you guys might have guessed, A Link Between Worlds, which is a very good game. I, I hope someday to do a Let's Play on it. You know, one, of, one thing that I hope for is to someday get a 3DS capture card, maybe sometime soon, maybe around Christmas time. Maybe I'll save up for something like that. But yeah, this, the, the whole uh, Link Between Worlds. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm going to be frank. I didn't enjoy the game as much as I thought I would, and maybe I should maybe I should actually complete the game before giving such a such a bold opinion on it like that. But honestly, I, I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I'm so used to to 3D Zelda games, right? And I'm talking about, you know, like Ocarina of Time. Even though the graphics of Link Between Worlds was 3D, it still got that 2D vibe, the whole top-down thing. But still, I, I'd i say that you guys should consider giving it, uh, consider picking it up anyway, because it's still a pretty good game. It's just, um, I still need to complete it. So I'm going to go back here quickly because there was a torch that I missed, and I can't help but think that turning on that torch will give me some type of award. Yeah, especially because there's four of them here. Come on, green star. <laughs> All right. It's good to be sure. It's good to double check areas, even in Mario games sometimes, as was the case just now. This is an, this is a weirdly odd level, right? It, it kind of encourages exploration. It kind of, now that I think about it, it really does remind me of The Legend of Zelda. Fire! Green star? Not even. No green star for me. Oh, that's why. Really, still? Not even a stamp? I've got to get that last green star. I've got to. I've just got to redeem myself right now. Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought! That's what I thought, game! I knew that there was something over here! <laughs> that was scary. Let's be careful about this now. Oh, man, this is... This is tough. This is legit tough. <laughs> got to time this correctly. All right! So far, so good. Let's just try to step on all of these blue switches now without causing them to turn blue again. Oh man, I wasn't paying wasn't paying enough attention to that. That piranha plant just nailed me with a fireball. Jump! Last one. Oh, spiny dude. Green star? You have a green star for me, game? Uh, I just opened the door. No, no, please, I need a green star. 
<laughs> there you are. I knew that you were still here. Well, I was hoping that there was still a green star by this point of the level anyway. Oh, good. <laughs> we, we were 100 percent at this level. That's actually the first time in a while, I think, that I've 100 percent at a level. Move over, piranha plant. That's right. That's right, you, you ain't got nothing on me. Even though ain't ain't a word. Ain't ain't a word, so I ain't gonna use it to bring back some like weird elementary school sayings. Sayings that me and my friends would say as kids. I was not thinking back, elementary school was kind of a weird time. It was a fun time, but at the same time, it was a weird time. I was still a gamer, mind you. Um, my obsession at that time, when I was in elementary school and, you know, as I was playing games was Sonic the Hedgehog. I was so obsessed with the Sonic the Hedgehog series. I was making sure that I caught Sonic X every Saturday morning. I loved playing all of the Sonic games. Like, I started without, I started out with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, which personally, I think that's a great game to start out with. Um, and then the next game was like, I also picked up some of the Game Boy Advance Sonic games, which were all right, but I prefer, I preferred the 3D Sonic games. And then Sonic Heroes was really, for me, where the obsession started to die down just a little bit, because I didn't enjoy Sonic Heroes as much as Sonic Adventure or Sonic Adventure 2. I also did play Sonic Adventure at that time. I, I, it was funny because... I picked up a Dreamcast when I was, or, or when it was, I think 2003, 2004 maybe. So that was, that was pretty interesting. I know that the Dreamcast already pretty much was dead at that time, but nonetheless, it still had Sonic Adventure, and that was a game that I really wanted. Oh no! Oh no! There you go! <laughs> But yeah, Dreamcast, the only games that I really played on that lovely system was Sonic Adventure, as I said, and of course, Crazy Taxi. You guys can't forget Crazy Taxi. If you guys, even if you guys don't have a Dreamcast, you guys still gotta find a way to pick up Crazy Taxi if you haven't played it yet. That game is pure gold. I love, love, love <laughs> playing that game. Oh man, <laughs> this has not been going so well. I remember playing the arcade version of Crazy Taxi, which nowadays is very rare to find, or very hard to find. Uh, it's quite a bit of a treat though if you do find it. Whoa! Let's go this way. Let's see if I can collect all of these green stars. Okay, this one I've got to collect all the green coins, so I've really got to focus. Quickly, I'm gonna stop talking about Crazy Taxi now and just collect all of these coins. There you go. Let's just make one more loop around the circuit. And then jump over these spikes, then turn to the right, and then turn this way, and then this way, and then this way. Oh, let's see if I can get the stamp. Oh, what? <laughs> okay, so I won't get the stamp. Sorry, guys. Whoa! Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, it's okay. There's the end of the level. All right, and I went through the right one. Good. I may have missed the stamp, but you know what? Golden flagpoles are also pretty awesome, and getting all of the green stars are also pretty awesome, so... There you go. That was a little bit scary. I died twice or three times? I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> the point is, I died, and it was sad. Ooh, look at that next level over there. It's got blue lava. And there's a bully again, making his return. <laughs> Speaking of bully, do you guys remember that game for the PS2? It's totally random, I know. I know that it is related to bullies because, you know, they share the same name and all of that, but Mario and Bully are two totally different games. Look at our stamp collection here. It's really coming along. So Bully, I haven't played that game, but all I remember was thinking when it first came out, as my brother says about the game all the time now, it's basically a little kid's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> it, re that, it really is. It's a free roam game where you commit mean things, bad things towards your fellow students and teachers and all of that. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend picking up games like Grand Theft Auto, especially because I know that you kids are watching. It's not that I'm not one of those people that thinks that video games make, make like thieves and murderers and like that. No, 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 it's not, not um, what I'm thinking at all. It's just a, a personal thing, you know. It's just a little bit too much, especially with the sexual jokes and all of that and the, the swearing, that's just me. I prefer 
not playing those types of games. Although I will admit, I have tried it out before, and when you take away the... Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> <laughs> when you take away all the swearing and the sexual stuff and all of that, you know, playing online, I mean, it, it can be pretty fun. <laughs> Although you're you're still like you know maiming people, <laughs> it's it's interesting. Nonetheless, I played it at my friend's house. But anyway, let's try to focus a little bit more, just a little bit more, you know. Try not to try not to fall into the blue lava. That's not exactly what you want to do when playing a Mario game. Whoa. <laughs> That, that, uh, what's it called? That, uh, dry bones with wings. How many hits does it take to, uh, get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? Okay, so I can't kill the dry bones with, uh, with fireballs. But now that I think about it, I think it was like that in many other Mario games, too. I think I said this already. I'm not sure, so sorry if I have said it already! Ugh! But I really wish that they didn't take out dry bones in the Mario Kart series. I think the last time that he made an appearance was in Mario Kart DS. Not even in Mario Kart 7 did he make an appearance. And they really did butcher the roster in Mario Kart 8. Butcher as in, not, it wasn't terrible, but they did uh, uh, cut people off. You know what I mean? They removed, they removed Baby Bowser, or Bowser Jr. as you guys know him now. And that is a very sad thing because I feel like Bowser Jr. is still a staple to Mario Kart. I know that he hasn't seen uh, an appearance in many Mario games as of lately, but still, you can't take out my Bowser Jr. You can't take him out. You can't even take out Funky Kong. Funky Kong was my character in Mario Kart Wii, man. You can't just do that. That's that's terrible. And then you replace him with the Koopalings. As cool as the Koopalings are, you know, I, I would have been more comfortable with them including the Koopalings, but still including the characters that, you know, were, were really good, like Funky Kong and and Bowser Jr. But then again, that's more of an objective statement when saying that characters are good and all. So that's just me though. The Koopalings are fun. It's just come on guys, don't don't take out those characters for No 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 no! Mmm. Mmm. That was saddening. Not only was not, not only was it saddening, but it was disappointing as well. That's alright though. It's not like I've been 100%ing these levels much anyway. Let's see if there's anything up here. The game tends to do that. Make you climb up blocks and then look for those little little holes in the wall, I guess, where you can get a green star or a stamp or something like that. I think we're near the end already. Yep, this it looks like we're about to. Oh no, not yet. I thought that I thought that staircase that it kind of formed was going to lead me to the flagpole, but not yet. We've still got quite a bit of journeying to go, uh, to do in this blue lava level. Blue lava level. Blue lethal lava level. Woohoo! Well, oh no! Please, 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 no! Where was the last checkpoint? 65. I've lost at least five levels in this episode alone. That's not good. Oh well, let's just keep moving along. No need to look back at the past, right? You just gotta keep moving forward. That's the life lesson of the of the day, kids. Keep moving forward. Keep pressing on. Pressing on, pressing on. All my distress is going, going, gone. Pressing on, pressing on. And I won't sit back and take this anymore. Cause I'm done with that. I've got one foot out the door. And I'm going... Da -da 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 -da. I, I forgot the lyrics. <laughs> Oh, can you guys guess where that, uh, who, who sang that song? It's a, uh, an alternative, uh, Christian rock band, I'll give you that. And that song was released early 2000, I think 2000, really. Okay, it's a lot easier to fight these bullies when using the, when using the fireballs. When using Fire Flower Mario. Fire Flower Mario. Come here! I'm gonna show you what a fireball tastes like. Even though you don't have mouths. Bullies don't have mouths. Even in Super Mario 64 or any other game where they've appeared, I don't think they've had mouths. That's kind of sad. I mean, how do they taste things? Doesn't that doesn't that make you feel kind of bad for them? Oh man, I should have waited. I should have just been a little patient and waited. But it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> oh, I do this weird thing with my voice sometimes. I notice that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of stamp is that? It's just a stamp of a of a brick <laughs> of a brick block. 
Although I guess if you were trying to make a scene with the different stamps, which you can do by the way, with these stamps and all, I guess that's pretty cool. Oh wow. We've got two enemies side by side this time. We see the return of both the Boulder Man and the Prince Bully. Except this time, I, I, I think the other Prince Bully that we fought two episodes back had like a red furry thing on top of his head. I don't know what the proper term for that is. Anyway, looks like we just need to take care of these two. Brolder, that's his name. I should have remembered his name from... Whoa, okay. Oh man, the the game fooled me. I thought that uh, I thought that I was just going to fight the the smaller boulders, not this big one. I remember this guy was an entire boss for one of the worlds. Why? Oh well. Of course, the game would get harder as it continued along and all, right? So, but as you guys remember, just take the little boulders and toss them at the bigger boulder. The only thing that's different this time is that there are these <laughs> these fireballs with eyes. I don't know why they exist. Why do they exist, guys? Could you please, like, go away? They're, they're really... <laughs> they look scary, actually. Come on, bring back some more Brolders. Is, is Brolder the name of the big one or the small one? The small ones. I don't even know. Okay. Just stay alive. Ah, 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 ah. Oh! Staying alive. That's not how you stay alive. For the record, for those of you guys wondering, for those of you guys who were interested in learning about staying alive and all of that, maybe you guys picked up one of those uh, staying alive for dummies and all of that, or, or like looking up tutorials on Google for how to stay alive. No, that's not how you do it. Getting hit by a fireball is not, it's not something that I recommend. I'm, I'm just saying, you know. But that is the Brolder. Next, we're going to take on Prince Bully. Really, why do they- it's more of a knight, I guess, but princes could be knights too. Not princess, princes, the plural of prince. Let's see what this guy's name is. Yeah, Prince Bully Blockade is back. Wow, he- he- he got back on his horse really quickly. The last time we saw him, as you guys remember, was just in World 6. And we're already in World 7, so... Aw, oh, man! This is a little bit scarier, because I don't have- I don't have- uh, what's it called? A, oh, a power-up this time. So one hit from his fireball. I think he was spitting out fireballs, right? One hit from that will totally finish me off. And I think that you don't need to jump on him. You could just push him, right? There you go. So just push him. Maybe that would have made life a little bit easier. But just to play it safe, I'm going to keep jumping on him because I don't want to die anymore. I just want to keep moving. Where's he going? Here's the tin can himself. We're just kicking him around, just like how people kick soda cans. You prince, you prince bully are nothing better, or you are not better than a soda can. That's, that's kind of a lame diss, but at the same time, that's probably not something that I should say. I need to consider the prince bully's feelings, you know, even though he might have a tough exterior, you know, you never know what's inside of that armor. Inside that armor. You know, behind those those spiky horns and the terrifying looking armor and all of that, he might have a soft heart, so. Life lesson, once again, be careful with your words. I remember giving a lesson about that in youth group not too long ago, so be careful with your words. But anyway, it looks like this would be an appropriate place to end the episode today. So I would like to thank you guys for once again tuning in. If you would like to see more from me, please don't be afraid to click that big red subscribe button. And favor, if you guys enjoyed the episode, let's try to get this video up to five likes, right? That's not so hard. Let's try to get this video up to that many likes, so. And of course, I've got a Facebook and a Twitter if you guys would like to follow me there. I do keep you guys, I do keep my followers updated as to, you know, any changes in my schedule, like maybe for some reason I can't upload a certain day or anything. So yeah, if you'd like, be sure to check out those descriptions and follow me on those appropriate social networking sites. So anyway, thank you guys once again for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next episode. So until then, take care.